Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for watching. For today's video, we're actually gonna discuss this laser. All right, so I actually bought this laser used. Uh, I've been wanting a laser. I have a CNC and I'm working on a video of that one. But I've been wanting a laser just to kind of see what I could make with it. And I, I've come up with some cool ideas I want to try. But first, I kind of want to see how it works, if I can get it running. So my first idea was to make some tumblers. Man, because they just look cool. So. I ordered a bunch of tumblers and I was like, I'm gonna make this super cool video with these cool tumblers. But um, these are Arctic. Oh man, that looks nice. So I was gonna make a cool video on like tumblers and I wanted to see how easy they were to make and some cool designs maybe I could put on them. But I ran into a problem. So I tried, I bought like a, just a, a basic one from the store and I was like, let me look, practice on this one and then I can put it on this one. And I don't know if you can tell on this one, I messed up. Right out of the bat, I struggled with the laser with this one. So there's a lot of things I've learned messing with it. But I said, you know what? Let me step away from the tumblers. Let me make something simpler, just a sign. And that's what we're doing today. So what I decided to go with was try to make a little Ryobi power off sign. So there's this shared work storage that a lot of people use that um, we use together. There's a bunch of tools in there. And I wanted to make sure people know to always remind themselves to unplug those power chargers. They're not meant to be stay plugged on. More of a safety issue, always unplug them. So I just thought, you know what, let me make a sign so I can put it right there. It'll make more of an impact when people pass by or they have stuff charging, they know, okay, un unplug it. So I just went online and just looked up Ryobi and just found the image that I could use. Uh, the software I'm using is Lightburn. So I just copied it, moved it into Lightburn, just separated the image and put that there and then put power off. And that's kind of all we're doing here. And so now the next thing I want to do is kind of cut it out. I bought mine used, it was working before. I, I've kind of like pushed the laser and made like little squares and stuff, but I haven't really learned how to use it. And so I thought, let me just try it with this project. So I'm cutting acrylic. This is a 70 watt laser. Um, I think it's a Boss LS 1420. So I cut that one at 100% power and at like 10% 10, 10 on the speed. And it was super slow, but it cut through it. And I shouldn't have to be using so much power and going so slow to cut this acrylic. I think the issue became, um, I probably, since this is used, I probably need to clean my, clean my lenses, maybe realign the laser beam to make sure I'm getting as much power through there. It, with all the traveling and moving it, getting on my truck and off into the garage, uh, it could have probably misaligned. So I need to probably align my laser, clean the lenses, and then I should be probably operating a lot better with this machine. So I have called Boss and I've actually talked to them a couple of times when I first got the machine. Um, so they definitely were willing to give me advice on kind of how to run the machine. Even if this was used, I let them know I bought it used. And so they had no problem helping with that. Uh, they really didn't want to help me with the, they weren't comfortable with helping me with the rotary to do the tumblers because it was not their rotary that they have for this. It works. Uh, they just only really want to work on stuff that they sell, which I completely understand. Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out the rotary later because I really want to do that. Yeah, so finally, after kind of messing with all the settings, we're able to get some good, some good cuts. It came out clean, we put it together. Definitely glad, definitely love the way it came out. Came out great. Um, definitely learned a lot with the laser and I'm gonna continue to learn more so if you have any tips for me with the laser definitely let me know in the comments below so when I was gonna put the acrylic on top of each other I had thought about you know what let me use glue and I was gonna use super glue but that can be a little messy so I looked online I kind of found this 3m um, double-sided tape so um, this is what I put on the back end, the laser cut through and kind of put it on there but I'll have the links below to this thing if, if you want to 
if you want to look at what I used. All right, guys, so there's the sign. It came out exactly the way I was kind of hoping for in my mind. Um, and it's right there next to the charger so you can see that they can know to unplug. Uh, just a good reminder just to make sure to be safe. Um, definitely learned a lot with this laser. Uh, hope to continue learning more. Maybe I'll get it running a little bit better and we'll create some more projects. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.